experiment one so in this tank i'm growing calerpa prophelia some calcific type of plant <laughs> some calcium plants and mangroves and all kind of crap in there right so i'm doing a study so just making it kind of dirty uh fish waste um high concentrates of iron magnesium and zinc so i just added that today and pretty much a plant grow light in a 6500k plant grow light and i'm trying to see different spectrums so right now the tank is pretty dirty um really haven't cleaned it um pretty much a lot of fish particles and waste in there to see if it will grow um for the most part everything is pretty much growing um i have the ova like starting to float i guess because the light's on so much that a lot of oxygen or whatever a lot of bubbles start become becoming uh the water i'm tongue-tied right now sorry still trying to swallow my spit <laughs> it's been a long day but um yeah just putting a lot of light on there um mostly i have a daytime day off you know like my main tanks on then the lower parts on my other tanks i'm doing different experiments but i house my my, my other macroalgae that i sell star ocean aquariums facebook twitter youtube <laughs> just to put it out there um yeah so yeah i keep those away from the experiment but I think it's gonna go well. This is day one. I just put a lot of iron, like I said, in there. Um, heard iron gives it color, makes things grow faster. We'll see. I need to get some iodide for the red macros, but other than that, it's going well. I just need to wipe the tank a little bit, but don't want to disturb anything. Pretty much, I just want to let it just grow crazy and see how it goes. So yeah, I got a little chato ball in there, see how it grows under these conditions. Because a lot of people can't grow chato. And there's different kinds of chato, depending on your water chemistry, lights, blah, blah, blah. There's always so much about lights and all this. But sometimes it's just the chemistry in your water. If you have enough uh, filth in there sometimes, like, you know, um, nutrients and uh, trace elements and all that and light. So, if your tank sucks, nothing's going to pretty much grow. So, <laughs> you just have to have the right elements, uh, bio load, and make sure that it's an established aquarium. Because if you're probably having, uh, what, two-month tank up, it's not really going to be established too much. The bacteria and all that's not going to be in there. But I'm trying to have a planted aquarium plus uh, a regular aquarium on top. So, you know, less water changes, um, more this, you know, natural environment. So, yeah, guys, um, I will keep you updated on this phenomenon. Um, I think it's going to grow because that, that, that clerp is looking kind of greener. And then you see the little cotton balls all on it. I guess it's trying to attach to something. Never attached it to anything. Some attached to rocks some will attach to the gravel because i have sand and uh coral like crushed coral or like pods and stuff to grow in there should be throwing some more pods in there to see if they can clean up all that dirt but yeah should be getting like 500 and dump it in there see if it doesn't get in the return pump but awesome cool thanks guys subscribe awesome